So in today's Wretched Watch setup guide, we are checking out Scum VM. So I'm going to be getting you up and running, importing your games into the latest Wretched Watch, which I'm going to be using today, 1.17.0. I'm going to be showing you how to set everything up to get you up and running, playing some very awesome Scum VM adventure games. So check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, for I start today's Retro Watch and Scum VM setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I release on my channel every day. I'll cover a wide scope of different front end systems as well as standalone emulators, so check those out. So what we're doing today is using the latest Retro Watch, which is 1.17.0. If you miss my setup guide for that, do check that one out. So we're looking at adding Scum to this today and it's not actually that difficult to do so what we're going to do first is actually go to the scum vm website so from the scum vm website what i'm going to do first of all is grab a game so freeware games and add-ons and i'm going to download the game here so dream web and i'm going to go for the freeware floppy dos version of this if i just download this okie doke so we got our dream web game now downloaded if i just open this up and here is our contents for this game. So what I'm gonna do is just create a folder and I'm gonna extract the contents of this. So I'm gonna to go to right click on my desktop, new folder, and I'm gonna rename this folder to DreamWeb. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go into this zip folder and control and A to highlight everything. It just extracts everything to that new folder. Awesome stuff. So we've got a game in place now. Next thing I'm going to suggest doing is open up RetroWatch. And the next thing we want to do once we're inside of RetroWatch is actually download the Scum VM. So we're going to go down to Online Updater and we're going to use Core Downloader. I'm just pressing my cursor keys for now and I'm pressing my Enter button to go into these options. And from here we're going to scroll all the way down. Everything's in alphabetic order and this one's fairly simple to find. So we're going to find Scum VM. If I just download this core, so I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. Downloading core, extracting core, core installed. Good stuff. So what we're going to do next is just X out of RetroWatch. Now, if you're using a keyboard, I'm pressing X to come out of these options. I'm going to just drop down to configuration file, which is under main menu, and I'm pressing Z on my keyboard. I'm going to go to save current configuration so we don't lose anything and press X to come out and just drop down to quit. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is head over to the labretcher.com website and there's actually a zip folder here we need to download. So we're just going to scroll down and download under usage scumvm.zip. We just download this one. So once we've downloaded this, we're going to open it up and we've got a folder inside. So this is scumvm and we've got some content in here. So what I'm going to do with this is just drag it out or extract it for now. And what I'm going to do with this is actually go into my RetroWatch directory. And this folder needs to go inside of your system folder in RetroWatch directory. So just drag and drop that one inside of there. Once that one's placed inside of your system folder, we're going to go back into RetroWatch. And we're going to open up the core that we just downloaded. So here we go, Scum VM. And I'm going to go to Start Core by pressing Z. And here we go. So we're now inside of Scum VM using RetroArch. So first thing we're going to need to do is set up some paths for this. So if we just go over to Global Options from here, and I'm going to go to the Paths tab. So first thing I'm going to do from here is just go over to Theme Path. I now need to point this into my system folder. So once we're inside here, we need to point this to that RetroArch Systems Themes folder that we just extracted to use in the Retro website. So we need to navigate to where that folder is. In my case, it's on my desktop and it's within my RetroArch folder here. And from this folder, I'm going to need to look for a system. So here's system folder. And here is the scum VM folder that I've just downloaded and dragged and dropped in there. 
and I'm going to just left click once on the theme so it's highlighted and then just simply go down to choose. Next up I'm going to go to extra path and I'm also going to make sure that extra here is actually highlighted so just left click on that one once and then simply go down to choose. Okay so next up we're going to go to MIDI and from MIDI I'm going to just go to sound font and in my extra folder, I'm going to open this one up and if we just scroll down we're going to use Roland and here it is so Roland underscore SC by five just choose this one and once this is put into place we're next going to check this option just here which is mixed ad lib i'm then going to just go down to apply and press on ok so for now what we're going to do is just close out of retro arch so quit out scum vm and just for safekeeping once we're inside a retro arch again once close in scum vm then we're just going to go to configuration file and save current configuration and then we're going to just go down to quit. Okay, so back on my desktop, I've got my game just here, which I've downloaded. If we go inside of this folder, what I'm going to do is create a new text document. And if I right click, new text document, I'm going to just name this text document the name of my game, which is going to be DreamWeb. And if I just go over and delete text, what I'm going to do is actually just rename this one dot scum vm file name extension the file might become unstable are you sure we want to change it yes and after you've done this we're going to head back over to the scum vm website and from the scum vm website if we just scroll up we're going to go to compatibility and what we're going to do once we're in the compatibility section is just search up the game for the short name that is used in scum vm so obviously this is going to be different for you depending on which games you're using but as we know for me i'm using the game dreamweb and what we're going to find just here in this section we're going to have the short name and we need to just remember or at least copy the short name of this and as we can see if we just go right to the top of here you'll notice that this is the actual scum vm id so with this part is actually crucial for opening this up within retroarch so i've got the short name of this or rather the scum vm id so i'm gonna just come back into my dream web game folder and i'm gonna go and open up this scum vm file that i've just created so i'm gonna edit it in notepad by right clicking on it first and then left clicking edit in notepad what I'm going to do, I'm going to just paste that ID or short name inside of here. So next thing we're going to do once we've pasted the ID or short name into this notepad document is just go to file and then save it. Next thing we're going to do is go back into RetroArch. And again, we're going to load core and we're going to open up Scum VM. Start core. This time I'm going to go to add game. If I just left click on here what i need to do now is point this into the location of my scum game so easiest way to do this is just by pressing go up and what i'm actually looking for from here is the desktop which is where my scum game is located and as we can see i'm now on my desktop so all i need to do is just go into my dreamweb folder and once we're inside the games folder i'm going to just go down to choose and as we can see the ID has now been found and the name of the game has been found and the platform has also been identified as DOS. And from here I'm just going to simply go down to OK. And we now have the game just here imported into Scum VM through RetroArch. So let's just boot up this game to see if it's working OK. If we go to start. And here we go, so we're in. As we can see it's running absolutely fine so let's actually import the game into RetroArch so to do this we're going to go to scan directory and the game's located on my C drive and if I go to users the name of my computer is Jamie and it's located on my desktop and here's my dream web game if I just enter into that and scan this directory 
And if I come out of this by pressing X and X again and again until I come back out, we're going to find Dreamweb located right at the end just there. Cool stuff. Now I can run my game directly through RetroArch. Scum VM, run. And here we go. We've now just booted up our Scum VM game directly through RetroArch. Once we're inside of a particular game inside Scum VM RetroArch, we can actually apply shaders to this. If you don't know how to do this, I'm going to show you how to do it. We just navigate over to Online Updater. From here, I'm going to just go down to Update Slang Shaders. And I'll just update Overlays whilst I'm here as well. So to enter into this menu, I'm pressing my Google Stadia button. If you're using an Xbox controller, it's going to be your Xbox button. And for a PlayStation controller, it'll be your PS button. So once I've downloaded and instructed both of these, I'm then going to go up to Quick Menu. And from here, if I just drop down to On Screen Overlay, I'm going to turn this on by pressing my A button. And under Overlay Preset, if we go into this, you'll find some folders. And inside of your folders, you'll have different folders such as Effects, Borders. If I go into Effects, and I apply one of these just here. So let's just go for scan line grid alpha. So that's now applied. And just bear in mind, once this is applied and you like the effect, if you go to overlay opacity, you can actually change the strength of how it looks. So for example, if I just boost this up to around 85, if I press my B button to come out, quick menu, resume. <laughs> So if you know that game, you'll realize that dots aren't on it. So let me show you an example from quick menu. If I go back down to on-screen overlay and turn this off, go back into the game, resume. And again, if you want to apply overlay, it's just a case of quick menu, on-screen overlay, and just remember to enable this and we got lots to choose from so i'm going to try this main one and just make sure that's applied we come back out into the game resume and whilst we're in game if i press my start button we can actually access the scum vm menu just here so you'll have options to choose from uh, resume game loading save states and another thing you'll be interested to know is that whilst we're in game should you need a keyboard Whilst we're in game, if we press the equivalent of select, you'll then get a virtual keyboard to come up where you can type into really awesome stuff. So that's it for today's Retro Watching Scum VM setup guide. So very easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's fairly simple to do. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And if you haven't checked out my full comprehensive guide on the latest version of Retro Watch, check that one out too and also check out my other retro emulation content ranging from retrobat to launchbox to batacera and lots of standalone emulator setup guides and just to also remind you that my merch store is now available i've got t-shirts on there mugs stickers everything so anyways thanks for watching and until next time stay retro